338 Kelvin 2042 per square meter. Carbon level static. Daniel, can I have a moment of your time, please? Oh, let me check my schedule. Nothing. Nothing. Uh, followed by nothing. Oh, go on then. All qualifiers for advancement have been met, Daniel. Well, that's just marvellous. You could try to sound a little more enthusiastic. All right then. I'll call the Metropolitan Times and the Union. I can see the headlines now. World continues to go to pot. That how's that for enthusiasm? At least we can do something other than watch the screens. We already played to see who's next to get fired. What more do you want? All right. Mission to advance the clock is granted. Put out the word. Planet Earth is one step from doomsday. <laughs> So not the Iron Colony, and definitely not the Olympic Village. Unless, of course, rust and exposed wiring is really in this year. Could be the train's cause, I suppose. No windows. Artificial lighting. Yes. And recycled air. Lovely. Could be a space station. Could be a spaceship. Could be a flying car. Could be all sorts of things. You'd better stay here and... Sworn those coordinates were made in night. Must be a calibration fault. You hold tight now, old girl. I'll soon have that fixed. Just as soon as I know where we are. I really don't think they're gonna listen. They've never listened before. We're just an oddity to them. A bit of pop science that no one ever takes seriously. It is our duty to monitor and inform, Daniel, and that is exactly what I've done. Who knows? Perhaps your superiors are paying attention now. You see? Probably the caretakers. Or my lunch order. Oh, who are you? Ah, you're human. Or at least you look human. Could be meta-human, could be trans-human, definitely superficially human though. And then so am I. Sorry to bother you, I took a wrong turn. This obviously isn't the IO Olympics, but the time period's right. You can tell by the architecture. So where on earth am I? <laughs> Very funny. Why is that funny? No, seriously, where on earth? Brilliant. I'm still not getting it. Best laugh I've had all day. I am on earth, aren't I? Yes? How could you not know? I got here by accident. I have a ship parked just down the corridor. Hope you don't mind. Just popped out to get my bearings. So you're not from the Ministry then? Oh no, definitely not. What Ministry? My Ministry. I'm Daniel Collinson, Junior Minister for Ecological Monitoring. And this is Petra Smith, who has more titles than I can be bothered to list. But the one that matters is Senior Technician. And Junior Technician, and every other sort of technician in between. Pleasure to meet you. I'm the Doctor. Just the Doctor. No juniors, no seniors, or in-betweens with me. What did you say this place was called again? Uh, I didn't. Uh, Project Doomsday. We're responsible for monitoring the Doomsday Clock. Come again? Ah, so you've never heard of us. I'm not surprised. Is he always like this? Are you always like this? Always. The Doomsday Clock is a publicity stunt, Doctor. It supposedly represents the state of the planet Earth's ecosystem relative to a point at which it is no longer inhabitable by humans. That's midnight. Right. And what time is it now? A minute to midnight. A minute? Blimey, I knew you'd make a mess of the place, but really? It's not all bad as it sounds. I mean, take a look around here. Two people and a few cleaners and a cook who's trying to poison us all, monitoring the health, wealth and well-being of the planet. Something seem wrong with this picture? We seem to be doing all right. The place is a bit spartan, though. That's because nobody cares. Seven-eighths of the human race were born off world, Doctor. We've got colonies raging out as far as Saturn's moons. We've launched a generation of ships heading out of the system last year. We basically left planet Earth on the mantelpiece. I can't believe you don't know all this. Yeah, I'm not from round here. So you've not invented terraforming yet, then? 
Tests have been carried out across the Moon and Mars, and that was on a clean slate. Nobody knows what would happen if we undertook similar operations on Earth. So you're just letting the planet fall apart? We're monitoring the situation closely. You're watching the planet die? That's about all we can do, Doctor. Monitor the rate of decay. You watch. You watch you never interfere. Sounds familiar. How can we interfere? The process became irreversible donkeys years ago. Even if we knew what the terraforming process would do to Earth, we don't even have the funding. The ministries are diverting it into stuff like time travel projects out on Eurus. All they're prepared to do is pay for the monitoring equipment. Carbon levels, surface temperatures, water toxicity. What about that one? What one? The one that keeps binging. It's really quite annoying. That one. I don't know. That's never gone off before. Bioscanner. It sweeps random areas of the surface for life signs. Tracks the creatures still alive and moving around. The surface? Don't tell me this is a bunker. I hate bunkers. This is the city of New Geneva, Doctor. A network of tunnels and enclosed structures 40 kilometres square. It is considerably more than a bunker. Hmm, well, can't be helped, I suppose. So you're looking for whatever's capable of living in whatever excuse for a biosphere you've got left, is that it? It is. And according to the bioscanner, there are rather more of them than there were yesterday, all over the New Geneva sector. Could be cockroaches. Daniel. I'm serious. Gliders can survive a nuclear strike. Deserts and poison seas are an easy street. Poison? Oh, forget it. A bit big for cockroaches. At least, I think they are. This is a mass scale here, right? Right, and it says the life forms are more or less humanoid, but nobody should be out there. Well, either your instruments are off kilter as mine were, or somebody is. <laughs> What is this? What has become of our world, Dakoff? I am unsure. The reports from other colonies indicate much has changed. The land masses have moved, the seas have risen, and are filled with poisons that defy analysis. The weather... I can see what happened to the weather, but how? Why? If I did not know better, I would think... No, it is impossible. Did you think any of this would be possible before you saw it? Guess stack off if you must. This is not natural. Something, some living, sentient thing has changed the world. My peers predicted the moving of the earth and sea, but these conditions... Something has ravaged the planet, Kathak. Something not of our making. We should continue to investigate. Undoubtedly. But with caution and with the guidance of the triad. You should make contact with Apec before we move out. Apec will be busy organizing the colony. I will report to her when we have confirmable truths. I've got to get out there and take a look at these whatever they are. Did you miss the point where I said nothing to survive out there? Ten in Petra. No human can survive the conditions out there for long, Doctor. Good job I'm not human then. Although, actually, what is it like out there? Imagine a rainforest, hot and humid, so bad you can hardly stand it. Now imagine a wind so hard it will tear the skin from your bones, and rain that poisons everything it touches. Lovely, but something's moving around out there and I need to see it. There is an observation post two floors up. If anything is moving within the old city, the post cameras will detect it. Right you are then. Lead on. But hold on, hold on. How do we know this isn't just a scanner fault? Could be, could be. But I still want to see what it's like out there, what you've done to this planet. There might be a slight possibility that I can help. Come on, Petra, let's have a look around. There might be a slight possibility we don't want your help. So what's his problem? Daniel's ambitious. He comes from an old diplomatic family and he would rather be negotiating with the outer system territories than overseeing a project that nobody seems to care about. I think he's only here because he happened to study geography at college. His family insisted. Nothing quite like a family with their hearts set on the future for you, is there? Did something similar happen to you? What? No, not really. Just saying. You get around, you know, travel the place, you hear variations in the theme. What about you? What's your story? I volunteered. I care about Project Doomsday, what it finds and what it reports. The human race may not need planet Earth now, but one day, one day they may be interested again. How right you are. Is this the observation point? Yes. Allow me. Weatherproof sense drones move around on predetermined flight paths. Part of our monitoring procedure, although hardly anybody uses their camera capacity anymore. Can't see a thing out there. Switch into infrared. Does that help? Not really. It's too much of a... Hang on. Infrared? Yes. Then those bits are marginally colder than the surrounding environment. Yeah, and they look to be moving. 
Can we zoom in on their location? Take control of the drone? Let me try. Structures? Yes, but not of our manufacture. The material is a mineral compound of some description and badly corroded. Take a sample. Everything here is corroded. Even the rain feels wrong. I can taste it back off. Something is not right here. Down! What was that? The screen flares and then blacks out. Do you know, I think someone's shooting at your drones. Can you play back what we just saw? Certainly. Transferring to main screen. Did you see that heat spike right before the explosion? Definitely some kind of energy weapon, fired by a creature colder, barely colder, judging by the blur, than its surrounding environment. And you know, it didn't move like it was drawing a weapon, almost like it was built in. Target neutralised. Was that necessary? I am taking no chances. Even so, analysis tends to work better when the subject is intact. More mineral compounds and something else. Something familiar. Plastic. Plastic? Tall using creatures with a size that partially approximates our own. Unless this was the creature. No, just the casing. Do we continue? Absolutely. It came from that direction? I believe so. Then we follow. That certainly narrowed it down a bit, Petra. Is there any way in here from that surface? Any way at all? Well, there were once access points every kilometre, used during the migration below ground, but only the drones have access now. The cameras come in to be repaired and decontaminated, and then... Right. Where's that access point closest to the camera? One point north and one east of here. Five minutes by monorail. Right. Let's go. Excuse me? Those creatures, especially if they are what I think they are, are going to follow that drone's flight path as best they can. They're probably going to find their way in. I'd like to be there when they do. Can you get me to that access point? Well, Daniel could. Then we'd best pick him up as well. Come on. Look, Doctor, it's not why I don't appreciate the excitement around me, but what you're saying is scientifically impossible. <laughs> what is it? Nothing human can survive out there. Ah, but I didn't say whatever was out there was human. What would an alien life form want with Earth? It's burnt out, Doctor. It's got nothing left to give. It's your home world. It gave you everything you are. Don't tell me it means nothing to you. We're here. Good. Open the access point. Are you sure? If you're scared, you can wait outside. I might just take you up on that. You've got five minutes. Nothing happens in that time. I call you a crackpot and you take your leave. Five minutes should be all I need. Petra, are you coming? Certainly. Prepare yourselves to be disappointed. Prepare yourself to be humiliated. It's a bit dark in here. Oh, yeah, that base acid corrosion on the walls, lovely. Only the repair units ever see it, usually. Out of sight, out of mind, eh? Can you hear that? Difficult not to. Sound familiar? The sound that destroyed the camera drone. Very good. They're here. It's getting warmer, and the walls... The walls are glowing. You know, I thought I knew what was out there. Yeah? Now I'm so... Petra, quickly, behind that workbench. You weren't joking about the weather. This rain could take the skin off you. And you weren't joking about those creatures. Structure breached. Two heat traces behind that mineral surface. What are they? You know, I never find out what they call themselves. But the fool who discovered them first called them... Silurians. Emerge! I know where you are hiding. I know you can understand me. Believe me when I say I'd love to, but we can't. We come out and our skin will blister off. If we're lucky... Erect the field generator. Seal the breach. Doctor, this is Petra. You have no idea how glad I am to see you. Glad? I 
I can scarcely believe it. Neither can I. The physiognomical resemblance is uncanny. The stance has changed and the fur receded, but yes, the shape of the skulls matches our theories concerning development and yes, the bone structure too. Opposable thumbs. Uh, yes, is that unusual? And could I possibly have my hand back? This is unexpected. As is the capacity for speech. The identity. I am Dak. This is my field commander, Kathy. Dakoff frequently assumes his scientific knowledge to be correct. What are you trying to say about these creatures? I recognize them, Kathy. Aspects of them, at least. They are ape primates. Mammals. Or they were. It would appear they have advanced considerably. Believe me, they have a long way to go. They? They, as distinct from me. Not from your planet. Sorry. You resemble the other. Sheer coincidence. I still do not understand. These are the primates we knew as pets and vermin. Vermin? Yes, no, it's all a matter of evolution, you see. The radical fringe among our predictors speculated on what would happen if the primates had developed a civilization as we had. The physiognomical inadequacies that prevented them from doing so. Somehow they have overcome these inadequacies. Evolution, you see... Our scientists, biologists rather, have similar theories concerning our ancestry. Our origin among the thinking apes. The apes do not think they have potential. They can be trained with time. And with time, our ancestors learned in their own way to use tools and to specialise, to walk upright and clothe ourselves. But we never dreamed it had all been done before. <sighs> before? Millions of years before. Everything I said, the theories say it took millions of years before we'd even developed a language. Millions? Yes, yes, all right. Millions of years. I was trying to break it to you gently. You've been entombed for millions upon millions of years. Long enough for the primates to mutate and build a civilization of their own in your absence. But that's not important. So they did this? From again? All this devastation. The ruining of our world. The poisoning of the air and water occurred at the hands of primates and primitives. We didn't know we were irresponsible. They were caught up in developing, Kathic. Running ahead of themselves in leaps and bounds. Silence. Silence, both of you. Dakov has told me of what has become of our world. I have seen the desert out there, tasted this vile water in my skin, seen things torn from the earth and then left to crumble. And all this whilst we slept beneath you? Captain, we do not know enough to judge. We have senses, do we not? Our world has been ravaged, yes, but not by some spurious disaster, by the work of creatures that arose only due to our neglect. All signs pointed to the impossibility of future life. And it was impossible. At least for you, ice covered the northern quarters of the Earth, melted and reformed. The temperatures fluctuated over tens of thousands of years, but the world stayed too cold for you. Eventually your monitoring equipment gave up. How do you know all this? Ah, well, um... Doctor? Petra? It's been five minutes and the sensors just went berserk. Crikey! Daniel, don't do anything stupid. What the hell are you? Like that. Your betters. A what? Daniel, you see that? That glowing eye. That means you just dropped the last straw. Run! Stay where you are. Doctor! Daniel, open that door. Petra's still in there. With half a dozen free eye lizard men. Half a dozen intelligent creatures that only attack when provoked. I walked in and got surprised, and you know, that seemed provoked them pretty nicely to me. Things were getting a little fraught, I admit. And then you arrived at a bad time. Look, if they haven't killed her already, they're not about to now. We can get back to control and the situation from there. If you say monitor the situation once more, I think I'll drop dead on the spot. And if necessary, we can call in military support. Oh, no, you don't. I've been there before. You start a fight with the Silurians, and you have me to answer for. I am not going to let a human aggressor or Silurian arrogance cost dozens of lives ever again. Understand? Less threats, more explanations, please. Again? A few times. Every time they've woken up and blundered into some kind of facility that's actually taking an interest in its surroundings. And every single last time some maniac with an agenda has instigated a massacre. Everyone has agendas, Doctor. Even you. Mine is to stay alive and keep the people of Earth informed about what's going on. That's all. If there's anything we can do to save Petra, I'll be the first to do it. But right now, she's in there, and we're out here. And we're not going to do any good standing around in the corridor arguing! Most sensible thing you've said all day. Control room, is it? Have you completed the analysis? As well as I can. She is frightened, 
and her cooperative, for which I hold you responsible. What? Responsible? I took steps to correct the insolence of a primate life form. I acted in accordance with my rank. I suggest you do the same. Very well. It is my scientific counsel that we make contact with Athe, and through her the child, and that we do so without delay. It will be done. I will be the one who makes the report. If you must. I regret this. It was never my intention to hold you against your will. It's not your fault. You're not the only one who disagrees with your superiors. Things are not so different then for your people. We have leaders with itchy trigger fingers and scientists who just want to do their jobs properly. We have the fear that our world may not sustain us much longer. We regret acting without knowledge. We foresaw the future and took steps to avoid what would occur. You did not. No, no, we did not. I have communicated with Apec. She brought worrying intelligence. Primate. I have a name, Silurian. And if you make yourself useful, I may deign to learn it. You may begin by telling us about this doctor. So what are they? Reptilian humanoids with a biomechanical third eye that gives them total mastery of the electronic spectrum. The original sentient inhabitants of the planet Earth. They went into hibernation to avoid an ecological catastrophe and never woke up. Not in any significant numbers, anyway. And they have a problem with us. Look at it like this. If you had to go away from home for a bit and you came back to find that your cat had started wearing your suits and eating your food and doing what cats do on the carpet, you'd be miffed, right? Peevish? Outright furious? And that's exactly how the Silurians feel. To them, you're a household pet with delusions of grandeur. It doesn't help that they keep walking into military installations where people are trying to start shooting at them as soon as they surface. <laughs> From what I've seen there, the first one's likely to start shooting at us. Not without provocation. And Kathy can just find out how long his people have been in hibernation. They may be cold-blooded, but they can and do get angry. What are you up to? Oh, preparing a report for the Ministry. I need to put the word out. Channels need to be opened. People informed, that sort of thing. Well, whilst you're doing that, I'm going to take a look behind that bulkhead and go into the observation point. What on earth for? Because Petra showed me how to commandeer a drone. If I find one, I can send it back in for early repairs and take a peek inside the access point. See if she's still alive. Oh, right. Yeah, take this. Dial 121 for control. Your 1223. Hash allows you to make an all-points announcement, but I'd rather you didn't. I'm making no promises. Stay in touch. Don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. Right, let's see if I can fathom these controls. That's obviously not selection. Good grief, they have a lot of these drones. No, that's playback. Uh, drone 0001. No. Drone 0002. No. Drone... Uh, drone 73872. Sheer blind luck. Now then, steering there. Main screen transfer, there. She's alive, which is nice, but I can't hear her. Which must mean that force field box sound as well as it does acid. And for my next trick, lip reading a species that doesn't have lips. This could take a while. You have no idea where the doctor is? No, no idea at all. He arrived, he explained he was a non-terrestrial life form, and since then, we have done nothing but run around attempting to identify you. Why is the doctor important? He is the only life form of his kind present here. We have only his word for that. He possesses knowledge. He claims to have encountered our people before, and I have evidence that substantiates that claim. I communicated with Apex back off. And she told me the triad and no more. They do not respond to communications of any sort. She has concluded that they are destroyed. And the doctor says he has encountered our people before. I infer that he was involved in their destruction. He appeared to express regret at the possibility of conflict. And for all we know, that may have cost the triad their lives. The doctor is no murderer. He attempts to explain the situation to us. You, Dakoff. Only his word to go on. Only his assurance that millions of years have passed. All these creatures could be his kind. Other worlders. You, primate, have no knowledge of these matters whatsoever. Anyone with his concern for a world he has only just arrived on is not inclined to kill. He has only just arrived? 
then we do not know him, and so your judgment is unsound. What are yours, Dakos? I, I do not know. The Doctor's explanation is plausible. The structures on the surface indicate some constructing civilization. The humans display many of the developmental changes we believe to be requisite to their developing such a thing. And yet, you tell me the triad is gone, and he tells us he has met our people before. I cannot ignore your logic any more than I can ignore his. It seems likely that he was involved. Then we are of one mind. What does it matter? Apec is convinced of one thing. Whatever these primates have done, whatever has become of a triad, this is our world. She has ordered its reclamation. Primate. I told you I have a name. And I told you to make yourself useful. Do so. Enable us to communicate with your people. I have a message for them. Y yes, Minister. Yes, but... Yes, Minister. I understand, Minister. I'll be here waiting. There, deliver your message and leave me be. The inhabitants of this planet will attend. What? Transferring to monitor? The inhabitants of this planet will attend. Your time of mastery is over. Long have we slumbered. Long have you helped yourself to our world in our absence. We will tolerate it no longer. Yet this is not your only transgression. Daniel! Daniel, you're getting this? We awoke to find our leaders gone. We awoke to find evidence that our colonies have been attacked, that our reawakening people had been slaughtered. You all the Silurians? They're on all points. Petra must directed her. She's alive, by the way. Yes, I heard her. And it does not end there. Your industrial processes have contaminated the entire world. You have brought a burning rain and a poison seed in your unearned dominion over this planet. And in that act, Know that you have condemned our amphibian people, a proud people, a warrior people, to annihilation. I've informed the minister. I'm afraid it's too late. Check your bioscanner. Can't you hear it? It's... my god. It's getting louder. There are thousands of Silurians there, Daniel. They're on every camera drone, everywhere in Western Europe. We will not allow this act to go unpunished. In the past, we have awakened in tens, in dozens. Now, we have risen in millions. This isn't going to be a last ditch attempt to talk the round before they start a war. This is bigger! Stopping even a few dozen Silurians was a struggle and a waste of life on both sides. This time we can't go that far. We have to negotiate. A new triad has been elected from our major colonies. Their representative will arrive in the city of New Geneva shortly to accept your unconditional surrender. Negotiate? Surrender? The alternative to annihilation. You might let her speak for herself. I will not- Ow! Oh, Ow! Oh my arm! Inform me and the pain ceases. Across the junction on the right there is a lift. Uh, an access to the monorail. Then we go right. Continue. Yes, Minister. I, I caught it. The, the holding Petra, my technician. She must have been forced into making the bulletin. Your technician isn't the only one they're holding. They've captured the Outer East monorail hub and they're opening up breach points across the eastern side of the city. You're as much a prisoner as she is. Oh, great. Sit tight, Daniel. I've been in touch with Homeworld Security. They've armed two detachments from the city core, and they're on their way. Brilliant. Besieged in my own office by free-eyed lizard people. Doctor, how are things going up there? I'm following the party holding Petra as best I can. Looks like they're holding the project's monorail station. Is there another way down there? Uh, yeah, there's a way into the side tunnels that runs parallel to the monorail. But, but there's really no point. Homeworld security are on their way there. What did I say about the military, Daniel? I didn't call them. The minister's sending them to reclaim the monorail and get us out of here. You told them about me? Well, no. Then you'd better, because I'm going down there. I'd rather not get shot if it's all the same to you. What am I supposed to tell them? Don't shoot anyone, even if they have three eyes. Maybe a good start. Now, how do I get into these side tunnels? You have my apologies. Save them. You're not to blame. Kathik has never liked mammals, even as pets or test subjects. And the idea that one can think is alien to him. He 
probably fails to realise his cruelty. Plenty of humans would feel the same about rats, or lizards, even if the lizards were here first. Does the primate amuse you, Dakov? Does it remind you of someone? What are you on about? Has Dakov not mentioned his pet? Enough, Kapik. Before the catastrophe, before we entered hibernation, he kept a primate female he rescued from the testing facility where he worked. He had to put her down when the order to move below ground came. Are you trying to patronise me? He put her down willingly and without hesitation. Do not expect his sentiment affords you any value. I probably regretted it. Am I right? Doctor? Morning. I think it's still morning anyway. I still down here. What do you intend here, Doctor? I rather hope I can save quite a few lives. If you are here to plead for the primates, you will be disappointed. I am here to plead for reason, Catholic. You've already thrown out an ultimatum. There's an armed response on its way, and I really don't see human Silurian relations going too well from a start like this. I am following orders, Doctor. Nothing more. The reclamation of this planet has been ordered by any means. And you skipped over diplomacy and went straight for the business end of the heat ray. We will not negotiate with primates. Are you sure it's not just you? Did Apec demand the use of force? She demanded that the planet be reclaimed. By wiping out its inhabitants? Careful, Doctor. You would do well to attend to this one. What does it matter to you if this is not your world? Violence is unnecessary amongst any sentient beings, Catholic. No matter which planet they happen to be fighting over. And I... Catholic, primates approaching from the jungle. Positions! Catholic, I'm begging you, don't start a fight with these people. Silence, Doctor. Back off. Board the travel machine with these two and stand guard. I will you not fight. You will not be required to. As long as they can fly. Into the machine. You're right. Petra, best do as he says. Back off. Silence him. I will not. Catholic. Controls. You two, quick shot. Ah! Release him! Release him or the primates die! Release him? Or you'll do what you would have done anyway. Sorry, old chap. Sorry about this, Dakoff. I get the feeling he'd have killed us both if we didn't take a hostage. Your concern is mine. You are forgiven. <laughs> I fear Kathak has deceived his command. Apec would not order him to start the war unnecessarily. Nice to know you have someone sensible in charge. Petra has the arm. Stiff and sore, nothing serious. How did you know? Remote controlled drone. I've been following you lot for a while. Clever. Indeed, remarkable. No, no, no point getting big headed yet. I still have to stop the war somehow. If I can contact Apec, she is sure to call Kathik off. Petra, can you take the controls for a second? Keep driving, full pelt. Don't stop unless you're going to hit something. Now, duck off. Do you lot use radio waves to communicate? Because if you do, that's exactly what this does. Let me lead you. You trust me not to call up more troops? You don't strike me as being the betraying type. He isn't. There. You see? Modulate away. Thanks, Petra. Now, how far to the next station? Two of them pinned down over there. Roger that. Behind you! Excellent work. You two hold the station. We will pursue. I have sent word of Catholic's behaviour and it is being considered. What now? Not sure. We could try putting out an all points notice. See if anyone stops fighting. What if I've ruined this transmitter? Petra? Sorry, I forgot to pick mine up. Back to Doomsday Control then. Any way we can get there from the next stop? The only corridors will be contested by now. Perhaps the service ducts. I assume you came along then. More ducts. Lovely. Still, best we get back up there. Maybe we can calm things down a bit. What would you have me do, Doctor? Well, Catholic's not going to be pleased with you. You could come with us. Are you mad? Daniel will not exactly be pleased to meet Dakoff either. Keeping Daniel happy is the least of my concerns right now. Anyway, I want to have a word with him about those trigger-happy chaps back there. Could you take the controls again? Just keep us steady. What are you doing? Leaving a little surprise for Catholic. Give him something to occupy himself with for a bit. There. That should do. Now. The vehicle 
has outpaced us. Any sign of them? None, nothing. We shall withdraw. You remain here in case the doctor returns. The rest of you, with me, along the corridors. We shall at least control their transport facility. You can't bring that thing in here! First, his name is Dakoth, thank you for asking. Second, didn't I say no shooting? I'm sure I said no shooting. Oh, you can say whatever the hell you like. You have no rank, no authority, and no capacity to order ETU Homeworld security troops not to do their job. I know I don't. That's why I told you to do it. And what makes you think you can order me around? If you stopped and thought about not starting war, maybe I wouldn't have to. When you two have quite finished, we came here for a reason, did we not? Yes, we did. Thank you, Petra. Daniel, I need to talk to the city. The whole city. Oh, great. More orders. A request. This fighting is unnecessary and undesirable. My field commander has misinterpreted his orders and overstepped the bounds of his duty. Our superior is coming to negotiate with your people. And negotiations tend to work better when no one's firing guns. The Solarians are fighting back, you know. How can we not bawling him out for his poor negotiating skills? Dakoth tried to make his commander see reason. All right, so it didn't work. But it shows initiative, which is kind of important if you want to make it in politics, wouldn't you say? Doctor, this is not the time. Make your transmission. I want to make sure someone sensible hears it. Dakoth, how's that considering going? Still no word. Who's to say they'll believe you? Of all the... Daniel, communicator. Minister. Daniel, the security troops didn't make it. I've requested more, but the invaders are all over the city. They've taken part of the outer circuit. Multiple breach points have opened up. Homeworld security are falling back to the inner. So, so you're leaving us out here? I'm sorry, lad. We can't get you out. I... <sighs> Doctor, make your broadcast. It might be worth a try. Has to be better than sitting here waiting for Captain Cycle Lizard to finish us off. Better late than never, I suppose. have taken control of a transport vehicle. Request the new field scientist to investigate the controls and... Alpec! Greetings, Captain. You require a new scientist. Why? What has become of Dakov? Captured Alpec. Taken by the Doctor. The non-terrestrial I spoke of. Taking a prisoner? You told me the Doctor came here to negotiate with us. A hostage. And why would he require one of those? The situation has degenerated. I know. At your instigation, I'm told. You gave the order to reclaim the planet. By any means, on the assumption that you would conduct yourself like an intelligent being and assess the situation. Instead, I find we have broken war with this planet's inheritors. Primates and primitives, Apec. We already hold much of their outer city. And your losses? Some. And then many. And then more. The primates have decimated our world, Capic. What else are they capable of? What weaponry do they possess? What can they possess that can stop us? You do not know. Neither do I. That is why I expected you to study them, not ignore your training and intellect by... Hello there! Hello, New Geneva. This is an all-points bulletin from Doomsday Control. The Silurian High Command has arrived to negotiate. Now lay down your arms and let them through. That goes for you as well, Catholic, if you're listening. This is a ceasefire, not a surrender. Can we respond? Why should we? You're probably wondering who's giving these orders and why you should listen. Well, I'm the Doctor, but I'm not important. The important people are up here with me. Say hello, you two. Oh, this is ridiculous. Hello, sorry. This is Daniel Collinson, ETU Minister in Charge of Project Doomsday. And uh, this is Dakoff. Scientific advisor to the First Command. I would ask my people to allow Apec of the Trident to join us here. Here at Doomsday Control, 14 points north, 12 points east. Follow the corridor up from the bridgehead. Kathak knows the way. Is this so? It is. Then move, move out. out. Shouldn't take you too long if we can all stop fighting for a bit and behave like civilised life forms. Hold on. You bring the representatives here. That's the plan. Problem? I don't have the authority to negotiate. You do now, Danny boy. I, no. I beg your pardon? Th this is going too far. You swan in here with no respect for the way we do things, and you run around taking over and you never stop to think if you're actually doing any good. I am a junior minister in a dead-end position, Doctor. What does my name on a peace treaty mean? 
The doctor is trying to help. I'm sure he is. And he's done nothing but tried help since he got here. And he's never asked if we wanted it. If I left things to you, this city would be a smoking ruin by now. You're very sure of yourself, aren't you? I know humans, Daniel. I know what you're like. You're reactionary. You're impulsive. You have no idea what you're capable of. No idea at all. If what's happened to this planet didn't teach your species to think about the possible consequences of its actions... Oh, then... here we go again. It is true, then. Your people were responsible for the desolation outside. In the cause of progress? Okay, our technology ran away from us and we didn't realise how much damage we were doing. We still don't know how to repair it, or even if we can. It's repairable. Nobody asked you. Nobody tried to work it out, though, did they? Well, you two stop it. How do you expect to stop a war when you are practically killing each other? Yes. Quite. Okay. Without wishing to make any slur on your character, motivations, or rationale for being here, Doctor, do you really think this is going to work? Well, it's an improvement on skipping the negotiations and going right for the killing, wouldn't you say? I could not agree more. My people will be here shortly. Might I suggest we prepare? I expect you to control yourself, Kavik. I understand your anger. I too have seen what has become of our world, but we must assess what else the primates are capable of. They appear capable of little that is worthwhile. Welcome to Doomsday Control. I'm Daniel Collison, European Transplantary Union Minister in charge of Project Doomsday, which is not half as scary as it sounds. <laughs> uh, uh, um. uh, this is Petra, my assistant, uh, senior technician. And this is the Doctor. I'm not entirely sure what he does. He's not taking this seriously. I believe he calls this breaking the ice. I am Apek, first among the Triad. This is Kafik, Field Commander, and you are familiar, of course, with Dakov. Indeed. And may I apologise for the manner in which he came to be here? An accident of conflict. I am unharmed. Then your apology is accepted, and discussions may begin. I speak with the authority of the new triad, although I may not consent to terms without first consulting the second and third. I suppose I represent the European Transplantary Union. I'm afraid I'm unable to speak on behalf of the United States of America, the Paneotronic Guild, or the Terra Nova Confederacy. At such short notice, you understand. These are other governing organisations among your people. The four currently represented on Earth and off-world colonies. There are others. Such divisiveness. Our people have united their nations generations before the cataclysm was even foretold. They will get there in the end. And you, Doctor. Dakoth informs me you are not of this world. Who do you represent? Just myself. And what is your role in these proceedings? I've been wondering that myself. Humans and your people have met before. Four times, to the best of my knowledge. And it's been a bloodbath every time. I don't want to see that happen again. You have seen it before? I was there. Every time. I'm a time traveller, Apex. I've seen so much of this planet's history. I've seen your people come out of their shelters in twos and threes and dozens as humans wake them accidentally. And every time someone puts a foot wrong. Do you know what became of the old triad? They died. I tried to save them. Really? They died. I'm sorry. There should have been another way. And you were there? Every time. I tried to broker a peace time and again, but there were always people on both sides who wouldn't listen. It's always the other people with you, isn't it? This isn't the time. He is right, Daniel. There are more important things to... No, this is important. Go on, Daniel Collinson. Speak your piece. Thank you. Doctor, you say every time humanity meets Silurian, something goes wrong. Someone messes up and people die. Every time. They get scared, like you did, or angry like Kathik. Except, that's not the only thing these little stories have in common, is it? Tell me I'm not the only one who spotted it. No, I think I see. It's you, Doctor. What are you insinuating? That you're the common element. Every time you show up and play peacemaker and meadow in other species' business, and the end result is a massacre. Circumstances beyond my control. Others interfere, others who can't put down their petty agendas and see the bigger picture. Others, perhaps, not as enlightened as yourself? Yes! No! Less informed, less experienced. But all that experience and all that wisdom still ends with people dying. Because people never listen. Because you expect them to. You walk in here and you take over and you order people around with authority you don't even have. And you don't bother to find out whether they can do what you want or whether they will. Or why they can't or won't or whatever reason they have. When I first saw Kafak and Dakov, I was scared, I admit it. But I asked you questions, I found out who they were, what they wanted. 
And then I agreed to sit down and negotiate. Only after it was a choice between that or dying. Okay, it wasn't my first choice, but I accepted it. And I'm sorry if, it, if I reflected badly and annoyed Capek and started a fight like every other stupid human you've met. But I don't know any better. Ignorance is no excuse. Humans have been in contact with other species with hundreds of years. But were they expecting to find another people on their own world? Well, they have before. You've said yourself that their records are classified. They did not know we were here, and we knew nothing of them. Daniel Collinson and Kathik reacted unwisely, but I understand why. Really? You do? Kathik, I might well have done the same. You would? Upon awakening to see the planet ravaged, I wept. If I could find someone to blame, I would. But Daniel Collinson tells me his people know what they have done and are contrite. They are working to undo it. But they aren't! That's just it! Is this true? It is true. The room in which we stand is the hub of the Project Doomsday, my responsibility. The Project monitors and reports on the decay of this planet. Every day I wake up and I look at the readings and I compile reports that nobody reads but Daniel, and nobody cares about at all. Hey! I care! You do not! I care, Doctor. I hate this job. I hate sitting up here every day knowing that nobody cares about the planet except the people who have to live here. Just because I don't think anybody's listening to us doesn't mean I don't care about what we do. I take the mickey day in, day out, because it's the only way I can face coming in here and telling Union our home plant is dying. And having them ignore me every day isn't very nice. Many of your people have left this world. More and more every year. Then is there not space for us? The surface is hostile to our people, but uninhabitable to yours. And do you not think that first contact with the previous inhabitants of this planet might attract attention? Be something new? You, you're right. Dead on the mark. People might start listening. Maybe not for long, but maybe for long enough. Yes, exactly! No! What? No, I will not accept this, and I am not alone. There are many among us who feel as I feel. We will not live in a world that has been tortured by apes. Do we have a choice? We can fight! The decision is the triads to make, not yours. Listen to yourself, Apec. You have seen this world, what the primates have done. They are vermin. If you will not lead us to war against them, then I will see to it that you have no choice. Daniel! Catholic, you idiot, don't you realize what you've done? You would gainsay the triad. I would do anything rather than surrender our world to pests and primitives. <laughs> they are called humans. You... you shot me. Betrayed. Us all. I may have stopped a war. Perhaps that is your idea of treachery, Catholic. But it is not mine. You know what will become of you for this, Dakoth. I accept it. Our certain deaths weighed against maybe millions. The choice is not hard. What of Daniel Collinson? Not a direct hit, but bad enough. Residual heat's cooking him inside out. Is there? There's nothing I can do. I'm sorry. I'm just <clears throat> starting to enjoy myself. You're doing well towards the end there. I'm sorry, Daniel Collinson. It is Daniel. It's two names. It's... I'm sorry. I will report what has happened here to the Triad, and will tell them Daniel's plan. Think it'll work? There will be those who side with Kathik. Many, I fear. Plenty of humans who will feel the same. You know what I mean anyway. You'll have your work cut out keeping the voice of reason heard. You will not stay? I'll contact the Ministry. Have them send word to the Guild and the United States and the Federation. More negotiators will come. I look forward to it. What about Dakoth? What happens to him? He will be tried for Kathik's death. Given Kathik's seniority, Dakoth faces execution. But if I can sway the Triad to intercede on his behalf, I shall. Friends as high places are, Dakoth. You mind if I have a word with him before you go? So these are your means of travelling in time? Not the only ones, but I'm quite attached to them. Look, Dakoth, you don't have to stay here. Not if they're going to execute you. We can be thousands of years and a hundred planets away in about ten minutes. You'd be the first of your people to see an alien world. The appeal to my curiosity is tempting, Doctor, but I should stay here. I have behaved in a manner unbefitting my station. Kathik did not die to bring about peace, whether that is result or no. He died in the heat of my anger, in the way you tell us wars begin. That should not go unpunished. If you're sure. I am. 
Doctor, mm -hmm. the conflict you spoke of, the previous mm -hmm. meetings between the humans and my people, did you ever fail yourself as I have done? The last time. There was only one way to stop it, Picard. I tried to reason with him, but he kept on fighting, kept on killing, kept on throwing away his soldiers' lives. If I'd acted as you did, Dakov, someone might have made it off that base alive. Perhaps. Or perhaps there was no one like Daniel, prepared to listen, prepared to change. I hope so. As do I. Maybe I'll come back and see in a hundred years or so. For now, leave well alone, I think. Dakov, your time is up. Goodbye, Doctor. <laughs> 